Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Short but very important TA video about Bitcoin, about the monthly close and what we see on the charts at the moment. Um, also, we are going to drive today to a ski area, but yesterday evening, Jolie fell on her head. She needed to be stitched. She has like five stitches in her head, so we need to check if we can drive today or we need to drive tomorrow. Now, let's quickly jump into the charts. And This is the first one. Yes, I'm not starting even with the four hour directly in the weekly. It's going to be a really cool video, guys. A weekly chart. The Bam Bam indicator told us to expect a long. Can you still remember this? We had the short over there, the long over there, the short over there, and it said the long. And now this huge candle, this weekly candle is coming and nearing that stepping line. That stepping line is at 442,200. If we be will be able to break that stepping line the next target will that be the blue line on the top over there at 67,000 us dollar that's near the previous all-time high of course we will push it then to a new ultimate high, in my opinion so the stepping line is very important um this now i can delete it because we have a definite long flag so that one can be gone and i said it could be going lower and then up but now this weekly candle is banning it um before I go to the next part, I want to tell you something. We, we always talk about moving averages. By the way, if you need some knowledge, you go to investopedia.com. Um, you have the moving average that all the charts are showing, but they often look different. That's because some people are using the EMA and some people using the SMA. What is the difference? Now, a moving average is a common use in technical analysis. The reason for copying moving averages is to help smooth out the price data of a specific period of time by creating a uh, constantly updated average price. The simple moving average is a calculation that takes the arithmetic mean of a given set of price over a specific number of days in the past, for example, over the previous 15, 13, 100, or 200 days. That's simple. The exponential, the EMA moving average, is a weighted average that gives a greater importance to the price of the stock in the more recent days, makes it an indicator that's more responsive to new information. So the EMA is a little bit more responsive to the new emission, uh, information, sorry, and the SMA gives a better average information. Now. Why do I do this? Because on this chart that I created this morning, I'm going to do it like this. Hopefully you can um, see the chart. If you can't see the chart, I will paste it. But on this chart, you can see <coughs> the tops of the 2014, 13 cycle, the top of the 2017 cycle. And is this the top now of the 2021 uh, cycle? I don't believe so. I do believe that we will go higher, but why did I make this chart? To show you the importance of these, of these moving averages. The very important moving, moving average to watch at the moment on the monthly chart is the 12, you see in the right top here, the 21, the blue line, and the 200, the red line. So we have the orange line, the 12, the blue line, the 21, and the um, red line is the 200. That red line is a 200 weekly moving average. This is a monthly chart, but the red line is a 200 me weekly moving average. The other ones are the monthly moving averages. So why is it important that we stay above that blue line and that we break that orange line? Because if you look back to the two cycles before, 2017, when we broke that orange line, we found support on that blue line. The moment we broke that blue line, that was the bear market on. If you look back also to 2014, same. We found support on the orange line, then we broke that orange line, and then we found support on the blue line. But the moment we broke that blue line, the bear market was on. That was a drop of another 50%. And the drop every time was to that red line, the 200 weekly moving average. So in 2014, uh, 2015, we saw the bottom somewhere in August 2015, around the 200 weekly moving average. In 2019 February, we again saw the bottom, and that was again around the 200 weekly moving average. The 200 weekly moving average at the moment is at 20K, and it's increasing on a weekly scale. So 
I think in average it was around two to four hundred dollar a month that it increased. So every month we will go a little bit higher. We are above 20k, which is above the previous all-time high. The longer we will stay above that blue line and maybe even break that orange line, the higher the 200 weekly moving average will go as well. So the higher the ultimate bottom would be. This is a very interesting chart. I hope you uh, saw my face because often when we go in OBS, um, it isn't there. But even then, I think the voice was the most important part uh, and all the information on this chart as well. I will post the chart on Twitter as well so you can use it. Hopefully, you really enjoyed this video. Um, if you did enjoy the video, then please give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about this monthly chart? Do you believe that the top is in? Or do you think that we will create another top to the top of the logarithmic growth curve? Um, do you think we will break that orange 12 monthly moving average? Um, or do you think that we will break that 21 moving average and find now the support already on the 200 weekly moving average? interesting time so let me know your opinion thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again probably from a beautiful hill with a view of a ski area bam